In this video, I'll show you how to replace an element with another element, and also how you could wrap an element with another one, such as put a div around uh, all of the image tags, and I'll also show you a couple of things, such as um, deleting all of the children from an element, and also how to uh, remove an element completely. Mm -hmm. So we have two images here. They're inside um, a div with an ID of container. And let's go on to the first example. And we're using the wrap method right here. So we're selecting all of the images on the page. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap them in this div um, with a class of IMG holder. So um, you can see those uh, images right here inside the div with an ID of container. And we'll just refresh on the right side. And let's open this up again. And you'll see that um, all of those images are wrapped in a div now. And uh, that could be useful for a lot of different reasons. Um, I'm just going to uncomment this block right here and just kind of give you an example of how this might be useful. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting everything that has a class of IMG holder. Well, we have some of these elements now because we just put them in. And then we are going to set the CSS um, display to inline block. And I'm going to set the background color to green. So this is for that um, image holder div that's around the image. And then I'm using dot children. And what dot children is going to select is, of course, the image because um, the images are a children of the div because we wrapped in the div. And then I'm doing dot CSS and I'm passing in an object um, to this CSS method here. And we're setting opacity to 0 0.7. So um, we can just uh, refresh here and you'll see that um, they have like a tint now. So um, they have a background of green. Um, these two divs here. If I like um, deleted one of the images here, we should be able to just see the div. Okay, that didn't work how I wanted it to. But anyway, so both these images have a div behind them now, and the div has a background color of green, but the image has a passy of 0 0.7. So we can see through the image a little bit now, and we can see um, the green color behind it. And if I change this to another color, um, that's just going to change the tint color. Um, so let's uh, comment that one back out and um, let's look at the next one I have here. And what I'm doing here now is I'm selecting all of the image tags and we're using wrap all. And the difference with wrap all is, you know, before we were putting this div of image holder, we were putting that around every single image. But what this is going to do is it's going to put one div with a class of bordered and it's going to wrap that around all of the images. And you can see that the class of bordered here just has a border of three pixels solid green. So you can see the difference there. We now have uh, one div that's wrapping um, all of our image elements. And if we uh, look at the source here, you'll see that that div with the class of border is going all the way around those images. Moving along, in our next example, I'm selecting the div with the ID of container, and then we're using dot empty. And what that's going to do is it's, gonna, it's just going to remove all of the children of the container div. So refreshing on the right side here, you'll see that div with an ID of container is still there, but it has nothing inside of it. It's an empty element now. The next thing that I want to show you, and we've looked at this a bit in previous videos, um, is the remove function. So um, you'll see now, um, I refresh the page here, and the, ima the image that has um, bird1 somewhere in the source, um, we've just removed it. So if we look at the uh, console right here, we'll see that there's only bird2 um, in the source now the bird one has been removed. So going on to the last example now, um, we're selecting the images that have bird two somewhere in the source, and then we're going to replace them with a span. So if you just want to you know, completely replace one element with another one, uh, we can use this one. And you can see that um, in the source here, the bird two has now been replaced with a span. So there's some interesting functions there for um, wrapping and replacing elements. And see you in the next video.